Hello, this is Erzi Shim from my car. Today I want to test fly the Bebop drone. So I already installed the iPad with the half length of the sunshade because it's not too sunny today and it's also not too warm today. I will just put it on the roof and see if I can start it here and see what kind of range I get from inside the car. I never started a multicopter from the roof, but yeah, should be fine. <laughs> <laughs> the sound was amazing. Oh, there, there it flies. Okay, so one thing I can say now is that it's a bit laggy. But it's okay to to view it on the iPad. It's, I, I'm, I'm okay with it. Let's see if we can explore the surroundings here a bit. Yeah, you you really get used have to get used to the lagginess of the video. So sometimes it's really okay, but sometimes it will give you just a lag like now. It's quite fast if you look outside and fly it using the oh <laughs> uh, the, the the cam controls are really cool. Are you able to look down a bit? It's nice. Oh, we have twenty one percent of battery. So the cold weather is not best bad thing for such a, such a small drone. I keep telling you about battery percentages, but this is not real-time video, so I did cut between uh, different shots, so it looks uh, shorter than it actually was on the flights. Okay, we're here again, and I will now land flying line of sight. Okay, nice for a first flight. Let me get it. So here it is, and it films you guys. Here you are. <laughs> I can stop recording now. Battery status shows 19% on a fully charged. Okay, so I'm gonna try another battery. <laughs> this is so crazy. <laughs> uh, the sound alone is, is, is really funny. And here we are. Yeah, but the, the not so funny thing is uh, just after I started my battery is on 63 percent and it's draining in like seconds so maybe this is just way too cold to fly but i didn't expect the battery to die so slow or so fast so and i'm really just hovering at the moment <laughs> oh i'm not recording by the way no i did it record. I stopped my recording. Okay, so the sky controller is nice to fly. Uh, it gives you bright LEDs uh, with the status of your link and with the battery status and with the controls to record. Uh, the little fella is really fighting the wind. Yeah, we have some winds. I'm so happy I don't have to be outside. 
doing something stupid flying over my car. head for a short round for the ad the battery is dead again so now my video signal got blurry but it's okay so if he has bad reception in some uh, angles um, you're gonna get blurry video but you have video so that's that's kind of nice um, I'm at 36 percent of battery that's not so nice oh back there are some llamas I'm gonna get them with the next battery hopefully drove here to the llamas a few meters just to get a better angle with the patch antenna uh, to the area I'm planning to fly so you can start recording before you start in the air or afterwards it's but it's cool to be able to fly from within the car uh, of course it will limit the range of the Wi-Fi but for this test and for only like 50 meter it should be okay and I'm curious to see how the animals will react of course I will fly safely I hope you can hear the sound uh, when I uh, take off from the roof <laughs> this is so nice <laughs> okay There it is. The jumps here in the video occurred with the older firmware 1.33, but after firmware update to 1.98, uh, I didn't see them. So this is fixed already. Well, so far, the animals are really okay with it. It's really small and silent. It's really fun to fly FPV over the iPad. At least in this. Oh, now one comes here and looks up to me. Yeah, that's nice. <laughs> um, I'm happy with this. And it really looks nice. Forty five percent. Some room for another fly by. Okay. So this battery looks better, it has still 41%. This was the first time I really flew all of the packs and some of them were better and others were weaker and I got between 6 to 10 minutes flying time in really cold conditions so that's, that's okay for the start. I'm at 29% and I'm starting to freeze even in the car. We have 1.5 degree out there and we have winds. On this shot I show you some software stabilization in the editing process and also some color correction and you can get really nice results. And the way back is without any corrections and raw footage for a comparison.
Landing with the press of a button is so nice. Okay. So now let's head back in the hangar. It's way too cold here. After those first flights on a Friday evening with not so nice weather, I used another day with perfect sunlight in the morning and some fogginess and got great shots here in our flight field and also visited our hometown's sightseeing target number one, the castle of Glocknitz. And I did some post-processing here to get the most out of the footage. And you notice that if the sun shines, so does the cam. <laughs> the, the little cam of the Bebop really needs good sunlight to give you decent quality. But then it gives you really nice footage for such a small and versatile quadcopter. And since the sun disappeared behind the hills, I moved up a bit from the castle to the Eichberg. I guess and here you see uh, how you can use the height sensor which is ultrasonic in the first eight meters of height to follow the contours of the landscape which makes it feel like flying on a magic carpet which is nice compared to the barometric only height uh, sensor of the NASA flight controller for example. Flips are really easy with the press of a button. I uh, really like it so far and I would best describe it as a casual FPV drone. It's not a a full replacement for doing FPV but if you want to enter this hobby if you already have a tablet or Android or iPhone you can use parts of this equipment and get a nice full solution to do FPV flights so keep that in mind and you will have fun thanks for watching bye Oh yes, and if you're already here, you can subscribe to my channel if you like and watch these other three videos here. Uh, the Bebop review in my hunger, the Shugong review in the bottom right and the Shugong Maldives video.